Hello friends, myself Dr. Smiley Pruthi. Uh, I am in this video going to uh, discuss with you that how to do this subject biochemistry which appears difficult to you because you usually cram the subject. There are no concepts in the subject. You think this way. You think that you have to cram all the enzyme cycles, pathways and there is no clinical correlation in the subject. But it is not so. There are so many concepts in this subject. Let me tell you the first alphabet which you read is A and the way we are being taught by we are being taught A B C D when we are in nursery class this is a way that we have to cram A B C D right there is no concept given in A B C D we just cram A B C D in our nursery class after that three four years we will spend in cramming all the spellings and then full life we cram and the negative effect of cramming is this that we forget easily right after few time you will just forget but you know and you know that uh, uh, in developed countries the way they are teaching their children is not this way that they cram ABCD no they have a concept in ABCD that is they will connect with the sound A is not A it is A that's why apple C is not C it is C that's why CAT is cat right there is a concept in ABCD which is not which was not taught to us but today in India children are doing phonics this is known as conceptual way of ABCD is known as phonics that is connecting with the sound when the child will do this kind of ABCD then the child will take time to do this kind of ABCD but after that that the, the child doesn't has to cram the spellings because you speak any word you speak any word in front of a uh, five or six year old child who has done the phonics that child will tell you the spelling even if he or she has not heard that word ever in life but because the child is very well connected to the sound so the child will tell you the spelling and there is no need to waste the time in cramming the things so this way concepts help us and usually things are not given to us in conceptual manner and we start thinking that this is there are no concepts but it is not like that if it is science there has to be concept in this we just need to find it out right so biochemistry is a full conceptual subject do not cram this subject and the sequence of doing topics in any subject matters and only a uh, experienced person can tell you that sequence and as I told you earlier also that the sequence in my videos are well planned. So when you are taking these lectures please do in the same sequence the way I am taking because first I will take the basic things and many things in biochemistry are connected. So I have that experience that when to give what thing to you and therefore the sequence is well planned. For mnemonics, do not do any harsh mnemonic, any difficult mnemonics. Use the mnemonic, make the mnemonic in the name only. Name is giving you such good information that you need not cram the thing. So many times I will be taking mnemonics in the name and take this concept from me and do it in your other subjects also. Many times we are confused that we have to do the rare thing or not. So I will clear this thing. Rare versus conceptual things, if you have less time, then you should always and always skip the rare thing and do more frequently asked things and more conceptual things because especially in a subject like biochemistry, which is a basic paraclinical subject, more and more of conceptual questions are asked, lesser of rare and fact-based questions are asked. So you, when you start, when you are doing your preparation, do it in such a manner that you are preparing yourself according to the questions which are asked, that is conceptual questions are asked. Even if you will waste your time in doing some rare thing, that rare thing will may not come in exam. And even if it come, comes in exam, rare things are not rank deciding factors. Mostly frequently asked questions are rank deciding factors. Even if you solve some rare question, your rank is not going to change much. But if you miss some frequently asked for conceptual questions then your rank will drop down a lot and it will take less time to learn that conceptual thing so please do the conceptual things as compared to any rare thing and when you are solving the questions after doing the subject you have to do mcqs in each and every subject you have to do this thing because mcq solving itself is an art 
you have to develop that art for each and every subject the more number of questions you solve yourself you sit and solve the question you will yourself develop that subject in you right so you have to sit and solve all the mcqs take any one book and solve all the mcqs from that book and when you are solving the mcq make it a habit that read the question very carefully because one word in the question will change the option for example if this question is asked that which of the following lipid is increased in uh, hyperlipoproteinemia or the question is asked which of the following lipoprotein is increased in hyperlipoproteinemia so it depends lipid written or lipoprotein written your answer will change because lipid means triglyceride or cholesterol lipoprotein means hdl or vldl right so you have to be very careful and very calm and alert in reading the question and make it a habit only if you will make this habit only then it will happen during the exam time when you are in such a stress of the exam at that time you should be having a habit of reading the question very carefully right and read all the options always and always read all the options because sometimes two options are the answer especially names exam such questions are asked that two options are correct both are correct but you have to mark best one out of those two and this knowledge is checked this knowledge yes this knowledge is also checked that out of those two now can you decide which one will you mark for example i will give you an example see this question cellular component of protein synthesis options are smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum ribosome and mitochondria i will say option b and c both are correct rough endoplasmic reticulum ribosome both are correct but now you have to mark best one out of these two and option b rough endoplasmic reticulum is that endoplasmic reticulum on which ribosomes are present and to be very precise protein synthesis occurs inside ribosome so your best answer to be marked will be specific that is ribosome so you will mark ribosome so if you don't read all the options you just read a you just read b so you will say b is the answer and you will mark b and you will not read c don't do that make it a habit of always reading all the options suppose you are reading a question you think that option a is correct you have first read option a option a is correct that is the answer so i don't need to read all the other options no never do that because they check this thing also that you are reading all options or not right let's take one more example in diabetes what happens to rq rq is respiratory question which decreases during diabetes okay so option a says increase in diabetes option b says always decrease in diabetes but option b is not the answer when you read all the options come to option d rq decreases and on giving insulin it will again increase so option d is the answer here because on giving insulin again glucose will start entering the cells again cells will start using carbohydrates and carbohydrates rq is more right so my point here is not the academic part but here in this video my point is that you should read all the options right and now one last but very important point that controversies you have many controversies in all of your subjects controversy when comes that i will tell you something else some other teacher will tell you something else and this book will tell you something else this book will tell you something else then you people get mad that what i have to do right because nobody is giving you one answer everybody is giving you different answer so now i will tell you one thing about the controversy and this thing will solve all the subject controversies for you i always say that when controversy is there then you don't have to waste your time on controversy usually students will start wasting their time in controversy they encounter one controversy and they will be start wasting their time they will start asking different teachers they will start going to different books and searching and referring and all that but my dear you don't have so much of time to be wasted and there is one small point for controversy listen when controversy is there it is a controversy for me also it is a controversy for the other teacher also it is a controversy for the book also because it is a controversy in nature for example there are two ketogenic amino acids leucine and lysine both starting from l 
leucine and lysine. Let me tell you, lysine is in controversy, right? Some books say it is in both category and some books will say it is purely ketogenic. So now this is a controversy. When you encounter a controversy, you don't have to solve the controversy as such. Controversy is there in nature. Sometimes this amino acid is behaving like this. Sometimes this amino acid is behaving like this. So we cannot solve the controversy, but we can solve the questions. And that is our target that we need to solve MCQs. For example, let's say a question is there, which of the following is ketogenic? Both are given, leucine, lysine. Which one will you mark? You will mark leucine because you know lysine is in controversy. So once you know it is a controversy, you can solve your question, right? And now what happens? Many times when I take lecture, some student will come to me and will ask, that ma'am, if this question comes then, so what will happen that a student will make a question and then come to the uh, teacher that if this question comes, let me tell you my dear, you people cannot make questions, don't even try that. You cannot make questions, don't make your, don't come with your self-made questions that agar ye question a gaya to, don't do that because that question will never come which you are making. Because the examiner who will frame that question, that examiner also knows, na, it is a controversy, right? So the question will be framed according to that. You don't need to worry. Once you know it is a controversy, you can solve the question. That's it. Your work finishes there. So now, on, from now onwards, if any controversy is there, you just write it in your notebook. This topic is a controversy you will be able to solve your question, right? Don't worry on that. And this is it. Best wishes for your exam. Thanks for watching. <laughs>